Hello everyone. Um, so today's drawing is going to be a drawing of Glorfindel from J.R.R. Tolkien's books. Um, I'm focusing more on Glorfindel from the Similarian at the moment. And um, he's supposed to be here fighting against the Balrog during the fall of Gondolin. So let's get started. So this week, because I decided that I really wanted to focus on the entire painting as a whole, I worked with the background first. So um, I, I drew a tower of uh, the buildings in Gondolin, and I'm kind of coloring it in. And the, the colors are going to be mostly gray because it's night time-ish. But I'm going to go back through with um, colored pencils in the end and kind of put in some yellows to kind of show the warmth from the fire. Um, I'm also drawing kind of these cracked areas, not because I thought that Gondolin was falling down before the attack, but to kind of give the feeling that there was this attack which occurred. So after I went into the background and added the beginnings of what was going to be the fire, um, I knew that the fire was going to take a long time to complete, so I did it in stages so I wouldn't become too tired with it. So I decided to go in with the armor. Now the armor is of course metallic, so you have to make sure that you can create a shining effect, especially since Glorfindel is um, attacking something that is that emits light. So the light source is going to be right in front of him. So try to make it as shiny as possible without, once again, becoming too distracting. I um, went through with several different of my gray colors and blended them all out. And then at the very end, I added some purples, which helped to make the shadows very dark. All right, so the most difficult part about this drawing um, was actually the flames. Well, the flames and the grass, but we'll focus on the flames at the moment. So um, I pulled up reference photos of wildfires and trees on fire, and I found some really great reference photos. And you could still see kind of the skeleton of the trees as, as they were on fire. So I tried to kind of mimic that with putting some black in and some um, reds and yellows and oranges, but I quickly found that it was way too harsh to put black in and it, it made it look rather strange. So um, I, I had to go through and make some changes. Um, I used a technique where I used rubbing alcohol and dotted it all around the, the flames and it kind of blurred everything out, which kind of made it so that it was a, it had a better effect. And then I still wasn't 100% on the effect until I added the dark sky. The dark sky really helps to provide contrast and then just make sure that you add dark to the mountains as well. One of my favorite parts of this drawing is actually Glorfindel's hair. So um, I really like watching hair in a lot of people's um, drawings, either anime, I, I love watching long haired characters on anime and how their hair just flows and, and seems just so realistic. And so I really wanted to recreate that and I've struggled a long time to recreate it. I think that this drawing is one of the best versions of hair that I've done and I was really happy, um, but it took a lot of time. So I went through and kind of did some blanket blocking, block coloring 
and um, in certain areas that I knew were going to be highlights. And then I went through with my darkest color and created all of the shadow points. Um, that was the most difficult point, trying to determine where the shadows would be. And um, it also, I also used the darkest to indicate um, where the individual strands were. And then I took a mid-tone and kind of blended them. And then I still wasn't 100% happy with the picture because I wanted Glorfindel's hair to be a little bit more golden. Once again, because there's a Balrog in the picture and the colors from the Balrog would reflect in his hair. So I went through and I added a very bright yellow color and then I blended it back to um, black it back in with the same color that I used for the blanket color in his hair. So could you tell that I was dreading the grass most of all? It was almost the absolute thing I did aside for the detail work. Um, the grass, I, I wanted it once again to kind of fade into the background but still have texture and still look um, kind of torn up because after all there has been a battle on that. So I went through and um, put a whole bunch of um, my dark green and kind of just layered that on and then on top of that I added texture by adding my dark brown the same dark brown that I used for his belt and pants and layered that on and then I put some dark blue on now the reason why I put dark blue is because it kind of creates these shadows and increases texture and as you can see as I'm doing it it's kind of looks a little messy a little you know not very nice, but I kind of went over some of it with the dark green to blend it out. And then came the really fun part. I took rubbing alcohol and a paintbrush and I dotted it all across there. And the um, since my markers are alcohol based, it kind of created this spotted effect, which blended the colors and really created this kind of torn up look so the grass does look torn up thank you so much for watching my video please give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel for more of my art